I'm back with more examples. So we got one over here, one over here. Two more examples. These are getting progressively harder. We're moving into upper level. So if you're just looking for a pass, these are above you, no worries. But if you want that A, take a look at what's behind you. All right, this guy's already factored, no factoring to worry about. So I gotta find that LCD, which is gonna be my seven X plus six times X plus two. Just multiply the denominators together. And I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna go ahead and distribute my seven X plus six times X plus two. Here, 7x plus 6 cancels, so I'm left with x minus 1 times x plus 2. Here, my x plus 2 is canceled, so I'm left with 2 times 7x plus 6. So I've canceled my denominators. I'm ready to just simplify and solve. When I distribute here, I'm going to get x squared minus x minus 2 equals 14x plus 12. So because I have a quadratic, when we solve a quadratic, we always want it set equal to zero before we solve. So I'm gonna minus my 14x over. So I get x squared, by the way, going back, this should be a plus x. x squared plus x. Positive two plus negative one is one. So I have x squared minus 13x. I'm gonna go ahead and minus my 12 over. So I get negative 14 equals zero. So to solve a quadratic, we're gonna solve by factoring. So if we take a look at this, the factors of 14, it'll combine to be 13, it's 14 and one. It's a negative 13, so negative 14 and positive one. So my factors are x minus 14 times x plus one equals zero. So x equals 14 and negative one. Boom. Answers. Love them. Solve. Good to go. Okay. So the difference here is this one resulted in a quadratic. To solve a quadratic, make sure it's set equal to zero. Solve by factoring, quadratic formula, whatever. Just solve that quadratic. All right. Here, I got to start by factoring. I'm just going to factor the denominator because I'm gonna end up multiplying the numerator back together anyway. So here, my factors of eight, that'll equal two. That's gonna be x plus four times x minus two minus one equals one over x minus two. If it's helpful, that one is a integer, it's a whole number, it doesn't look like a fraction. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it over one just so I'm ready for that fraction piece, okay? I got a sneeze stuck in my nose. Sorry. Okay. From here, I'm looking for my LCD. It's coming. It's getting closer. Still stuck though. Okay. My LCD here, we got the X minus twos. And then this one has the X plus four. This denominator is one. It's really not going to matter if we include that in the lowest common denominator. We could, but what happens if we multiply by one? It's just one. Okay, so here's my LCD. We're gonna come in and I'm gonna multiply by X minus two times X plus four. All right. So when I multiply X minus two times X plus four to two X plus two, the X plus four and the X minus two reduce, leaving me with two X plus two minus when I multiply x minus two times x plus four to one, nothing's gonna cancel, so I'm gonna be left with x minus two times x plus four. Equals, here, my x minus twos will reduce, leaving me with one times x plus four. So, we've canceled out the denominator, we're now ready to solve. So I'm gonna go ahead and simplify here. I have 2x plus 2 minus x squared plus 2x minus 8 equals x plus 4. I'm going to go ahead and distribute my negative. So I get negative x squared minus 2x plus 8 equals x plus 4. Here I'm going to combine like terms. So I have negative x squared 
2x minus 2x, those are gone. 2 plus 8, I get 10, equals x plus 4. So again, I'm left right here with this x squared, which means I'm dealing with a quadratic again. We've got to set it equal to 0. So I'm going to minus the x over, and I'm going to minus the 4 over, and I end up with negative x squared minus x plus 6 equals 0. I don't love factoring with this negative, so I'm going to go ahead and I can divide everything by negative 1 or I can factor out the negative 1. So I'm going to factor out the negative, so I get x squared plus x minus 6, which then factors to x plus 3 times x minus 2. So now I'm seeing that my solutions are negative 3 and positive 2. All right, with this one, we've got to be a little bit cautious. So I did this one on purpose. After we've done all of our algebra, we get our solutions, negative 3 and 2. What happens if I take this 2 back and I plug it into my function? 2 minus 2 is 0. I cannot divide by 0. So what we've just found is what is called an extraneous solution. 2 is an extraneous woo, solution. Algebraically, we were able to find it because we canceled out the denominators. But now when we include the denominator in the problem, because it's there, it's right there, see it? Boom. I can't plug 2 back in. So it doesn't work. My answer is negative 3. So be very cautious with your extraneous solutions. Make sure you're checking for that divide by zero. Good luck.